boost credit by the end of this year. No matter when it is that you're watching this video. So no matter what year it is that you're watching this video, boost credit by the end of this year. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And in this brief video, I want to talk to you about boosting your credit by the end of this year. Now, what I do want to say is it does require you to take action. You can't just be sitting around solely watching the videos, not taking any action because anybody can consume a lot of content, but it's all about the implementation of the content that you learn that will allow you to boost your credit to where you desire deserve it to be. So just get that in your mindset first and foremost. Now, when it comes to boosting your credit by the end of the year, you got to set realistic goals, but depending on when you're watching this video, that could be very well possible. Now, if it's the end of the year, then you might want to adjust it, but you do have to take a look at how long it's taking you to get your credit where it is now. So if your credit is in a negative state, how long did it take to get there? And in many cases, it's been a few years. It's been well over a month in order for your credit to get in a negative state. So once you understand that, then you can have a realistic perspective because if it took you six years to get your credit in a bad place, then don't expect to get it fixed in 30 days, 45 days, 60 days. Give yourself six months is what I usually say to people and really I want people to think in terms of a year because of, you know, a lot of factors sometimes can be offset by time. And that thing right there is a real teller to the, in the eyes of the entity. Time is a true teller of a person's credibility, of a person's ability to pay things on time. So keep that in mind so that way you don't box yourself into a small time frame and just because you didn't hit that goal by that desired date, then you find yourself feeling as though you didn't do what you were supposed to do. No, you just didn't give yourself enough time so keep that in mind and that way you'll have a right perspective but think in terms of six months bare minimum a year is a is a good a bigger stretch and then set your goal so you can hit that goal by the time that you desire and deserve now let's get into some actual tips and practicalities of things that you can do in order to boost your credit by the end of this year number one and it, and and i'm gonna say this um this is a blanket statement video but I know all things don't apply directly to you. So if you have a credit card, pay attention to if that credit card has a high utilization. When I say high utilization, I mean anything over 10%. And I know some people say different, but anything over 10% is a high utilization. I mean, high is anything over 30, but get it under 10%. So if you have an 80% utilization, 90% utilization, trust me, we understand how that feels. We we understand verbatim how that feels. We've been there, we paid it off, we ran it back up, so we definitely understand. And it's okay, but it's nothing you can't bounce back from. So that in mind, get that utilization under 10% and you'll be surprised at how fast that can help boost your score. You may not be surprised, this may be preaching to the choir, but you gotta understand that getting that credit utilization under 10% really can help strengthen your credit score. From this day forward, also get in the practice of not having late payments. If you can get in the habit of having things automated or having things coming out of one account or at least knowing when everything will be coming out, that'll help you tremendously, but don't get in the habit of making late payments. And that goes across the board, no matter who you are as it relates to your credit. Also, if you have nothing but negatives on your credit report, you wanna establish or build some new credit. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and grab our free class, but also click on the link that says save money, build credit. That'll help you tremendously by building some new credit on top of some of the negatives. Now, if you already have some new recent things reporting, that might not necessarily be the next move you need to make, but if you definitely have nothing but negatives on your report, click on that link and then you'll see where it says save money, build credit. Save money, build credit like a boss. It might say something along those lines. Click that, grab that, take action on that, and that'll help you out tremendously because it's the new items that are being reported that allow you to reestablish yourself. It's like, okay, I made some mistakes in the past, but I'm here to show myself approved that I am able to make bill, make payments on time and do it on a consistent basis. But definitely do that. That'll help get you in the right direction of boosting your score as 
well. So if you follow those things, get that utilization down, don't be late on payments, establish new credit if necessary, you'll be well on your way. But I do not want to leave out the fact that sometimes you just got to clean up the items that are on your report. So that involves sending out letters to get things deleted, contacting certain entities that you might have a good relationship with and saying, hey, can you remove that late payment? You know, I fell on hard times or whatever the case may be. It might be a tearjerker or something that may make them want to get that late payment removed. See if you can get that removed and that'll help strengthen your score. And if you need help deleting, getting deleted items or getting items deleted off your credit report, do not hesitate to schedule a free consultation and see if it's a good fit for, you know, for you. And if not, no big deal. We just really want to serve you and help you in any way that we can. If you decide that you want to work with us, it won't be cheap, but it'll definitely be valuable. So it's still affordable, but it's just not, you know, we, we don't want to be the cheapest in the market because we understand the value that we bring to the table from an educational standpoint, from a, you having a quality profile standpoint, as well as the service that we want to bring to you and the results that we've already got for several different clients all across the nation. So definitely don't hesitate to reach out in that area or if you want to understand the process of disputing for yourself and you don't mind going back and forth with the bureaus, then definitely grab that free credit class and take full advantage of it. Hopefully this helps, but this is how you can go about boosting credit by the end of this year, no matter when you're watching this video. Let us know what your credit goals are below. Let us know if you have any specific questions. We'll create a video centered around your question if we have not already, or we'll elaborate specifically on certain things. But right now, that's all I have. Mr. Smith, signing out. Salute.